tutorial if you are new here welcome and if you are returning welcome back as you can see from the title of the video we are about to get into some v-day nails so if you want to see what i do with these nails make sure you guys stay tuned and if you like what you see make sure you like the video and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any videos that i post in the future so let's get into it okay so i want to say i got these nail tips from aliexpress um that's mainly where i get my nail tips from but if i did not get them from aliexpress then i got them from shein i'll be sure to leave the correct link below for you guys um now the hearts that you guys see i got those from michael's i had to put like a base coat over the top of the hearts and I did that because I noticed that once I put acrylic over them the color starts to bleed so I honestly don't know if it's the monomer that's reacting to the color of the heart and it's like taking the color off um, but I just found that putting the hearts on here and then covering it with the base coat or a top coat before I actually apply any acrylic over the top um, helps with the bleeding of the hearts, if that makes sense. So the look I was going for right here, I wanted to put the hearts in a heart shape between the two nails. So I was painting and placing the hearts in that shape as far as i could see like i could see the shape and that's what i was going for so i hope you guys could see the shape <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just going in with my clear acrylic and I am encapsulating the hearts that I have put in the heart shape between the two nails. And I wanna try my best to keep the shape. Um, I don't want to have to foul the shape later because I did not do the acrylic too high in order to foul the shape like that. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, but as you can see, I'm cleaning around the edges just so I can make sure I keep that shape. Okay, so next I'm going to be using my iGel Beauty Dip and Dab Acrylic and Ballerina Gown and Glow Stick. Um, I wanted to kind of do a marble look at first, but that did not work out for me. So, yeah, you'll see that I did still do the marble on the thumb, but for the most part, I just uh, used the Ballerina Gown Acrylic Color, the light pink color that you see here i use that on most of my nails and then again i used both of them on the thumb to give a marble effect i really just wanted to see what the white uh glow stick powder looks like looked like when it glowed in the dark um i did not get a picture of it but um it did glow pretty well so i will have to do a set with that white just so you guys can see exactly how good it glows in the dark. Okay, so here you see me using the ballerina gown color and I'm just um, surrounding the encapsulated heart that I already have. Um, I don't want to go on top of it because um, I don't want to do any fouling once I'm done with this. I just kind of want to encapsulate it with the clear. Um, but if you do get any on the 
heart. If I did get any on the heart, um, one, you will see me clean it up right here. Or if you miss anything, I think that when you're done with this, you could probably just go in with a drill and kind of get it off the heart a little bit uh, before you do the encapsulation. But again, I just was not feeling any extra work. So I try my best to stay off the heart and um, surround the heart as best I could and keep the shape as well. Okay, so I keep looking at it from this angle because I want to make sure I'm keeping my shape. Um, I really, really, really did not want to outline this heart with any diamonds or anything like that. So I wanted to make sure it was as good as possible. I didn't want to say perfect, but it was as good as, as, good as I could get it. Um, so I would not want to add any rhinestones around it in order to cover any imperfections. Okay, so I've added a little bit of glitter and now I'm going to encapsulate the entire nail um, and make sure I get it to the thickness that I want and 
make sure I'm also keeping the shape of the nail so I don't have to do too much filing. Okay, so now that I'm done with my application, I'm going to use my 5-in-1 drill bit. I'm pretty sure I got this from Shein. I'm going to use this drill bit to go and seal the cuticle area. I'm also going to use it to lightly shape. Um, and I'm going to do that because it just cuts down on the hand file time for me. So I go in and I remove any bumps on the top and any um discrepancies on the sides of the nail with this drill bit very lightly right before i go in with the hand file to actually file and get the perfect shape that i want
Okay, so now I'm just going to use the hand file to do even more shaping. Um, I like a very crisp nail shape. So I'm going in with my nail file to just smooth over the top any, any bumps that I missed with the e-file. And just to get more um, crisp lines on the sides. Uh, this nail file I got from Shein. A 1 out of 10. Do not recommend. Uh, they are very bendable. They were very cheap. I think it came with like 10 in a pack. And I bought like 2 packs. So I've just been using them. But um, yeah. I would go with uh, something more sturdy. Because these start bending after a while. And yeah, you, you might think that's nothing, but it can mess up your shape if you're trying to get a straight line and the file is bending a little bit. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going in with these mini buffers that I got from Amazon. I think it came with like maybe 100 in a pack, maybe 200 in a pack. I'm not sure. I'll link them below. Um, I use a different one on every client. And I also use these when I pack my press-on nails. So they come in handy and they get the job done. So, yeah. So if you are anything like myself you like to nitpick and you like things to be close as close to perfect as you can get them so buffing is not my last step i go in once again with the hand file just to make sure i clean up anything that i might have missed and just to do a little bit extra because i don't know i'm extra like that and i just like my shapes to be as close to perfect as possible Okay, so I also wanted to mention, you guys may hear like an um, echo in the background. That's because I am recording in a completely empty room. I am recording in a completely empty house. If you know, you know. If you don't, then I'm about to tell you. I am transitioning from an office, my home base office, to a travel tech. Um, and that is kind of scary for me because I can't find really anything on YouTube or anywhere else where people are really doing travel tech um things so yeah i decided to go ahead and film that journey for you guys uh, i went shopping and found travel tech um supplies and things like that so i filmed that and i'm going to show you guys what i went shopping and how i packed everything and what i got and all of that so yeah um this is like my last two days in this house so i decided to sit down and go ahead and get this recording over with because it's a lot that i still have to do and i, I just haven't been uploading in the last couple weeks so let me go ahead and upload this and get this out so yeah i'm going to make sure i keep you guys updated on this transition from home base office to travel tech and we'll see how that goes yeah Okay, so next I'm going in with um, my matte top coat. This top coat that I'm using is from Joy T, I think. Um, I did buy this a while back to use, and then I got some feedback that it chips, and which I'm not surprised because I think I got both the matte and the clear coat for like four or five dollars so i'm not surprised that it was chipping uh so now i'll just use it when i do practice nails on my practice hand or when i do my own nails like right now and it's mainly because i don't really experience the chipping because i don't leave my nails on that long i'm a nail tech so i'm always doing something different um so i find that it works for me since i don't leave my nails on that long and i have switched it up since then for my clients and my press on nails the glossy top coat that I'm using right here is from Tammy Taylor. It's a no white top coat. I love this top coat. I don't think I will purchase any other top coat. Um, it's thick, 
so you don't really need a lot and it doesn't chip it lasts long i just love it um this is what i was using in school so i just kind of stuck with that a lot of things that i well i ain't gonna say a lot but some of the things that i was using in school just kind of stuck with me and i don't really want to like change it up so yeah this top coat does it for me So I'm trying my best to just kind of get right on the shape of the heart to cover it up because I decided I wanted the outer perimeter to be matte top coat. So I'm just trying my best to stay on the heart so that when I do outline the matte, it won't um, be too much work. So I'm going back in with my matte top coat and I'm just outlining the heart on the solid colored area because that's the part that I want to be matte. Okay, so I wanted to do a French design on this pinky nail. I could not find my brush that I usually do nail art with. It has um, longer uh, uh, brush bristles, uh, but I did what I could with this brush. This is not a good representation of me doing a nail French tip design, so I'll do another video on that later. Um, but yeah, and also a lot of the footage got cut out anyway because I was trying to put my nail up to my face to get the perfect line. So again, um, this is not a good representation of this design, but I'll do another video later. And I did get as much footage as I could so you guys can get a good representation of what I did with what I had. Okay, so now I'm going to use some blooming gel. I got this from Amazon. I'm going to use that. I'm going to paint all over the nail and I'm going to try this rose design that I've seen online. This was my first attempt to do this and I think it came out pretty good. I'm really proud of it. So, yeah.
Now I'm using my Tammy Taylor top coat again to top coat the nails that I just did the hand painted designs on as well as the thumb and then I will go ahead and move on to placing my rhinestones. Alright, so these rhinestones that I'm about to use came from AliExpress years ago. Um, and the nail uh, rhinestone glue that I'm using came from IGL Beauty. I just recently got that for Black Friday. Um, I don't have any complaints about it. I actually like it. Uh, so yeah. Okay, y'all, so that's the end of this video. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos that I have in the future, especially the travel tech series that I'm about to start releasing. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Oh,